Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be making a video guys, we'll be discussing what is a vacuum leak on BMW engine guys. BMW car, what is a vacuum leak? Stay with us, we'll cover everything from start to finish guys and we'll explain what it is, how to fix it and what causes that. Now, quick introduction to the channel guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least guys, at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Specifically on every BMW we get, we make close to four or five hundred videos. Why? Simply because our our mission here at the shop guys is to save you as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video that's all we need in return so we can keep providing these free videos if you guys need to buy any replacement parts tools anything like that for your bmw check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our parts from so this is guys specifically a 2006 bmw that we'll be working on and we'll be discussing what is a vacuum leak okay on this engine and how to fix a vacuum leak guys so what is guys a vacuum leak now vacuum leak is when the engine guys is getting some extra air that it doesn't know of. it doesn't know of that extra air okay that is guys okay let's say you need one part fuel one part air but it, it actually the engine is getting one part fuel and two parts air this means that this is a vacuum leak guys it's some extra air the engine doesn't know of and as a result guys okay it's uh, the engine is running on lean mixture lean mixture means that you have less fuel more air it's not balanced guys so what causes that now okay many people ask me what is a vacuum leak and how to find it now things to look at guys on bmws doesn't matter if you have a six cylinder four cylinder engine a procedure will be about the same check your air filter box okay this is your air filter box usually pass the air filter box box the first sensor guys will look something like that this is known as your mass airflow sensor this is the sensor guys that reads exactly how much air is going guys okay inside the engine this is the device that calculates how much air any extra air that the engine gets past that sensor it does not know that it's getting that air the only way to find out will be when it's too late and this one will be guys after the air goes through the engine burns with the fuel comes out the, the exhaust the oxygen sensor guys will read that the mixture was lean and it wasn't running right so as a result guys we have okay a, co a code for vacuum leak uh, hard to diagnose codes and we'll explain guys what can cause that now usually guys <coughs> vacuum leaks will be guys uh, caused by it could be a loose hose clamp okay from the uh, on the intake boot guys from the let's say from the uh, mass airflow sensor to the throttle body it could be bad gasket on the throttle body where it mounts to the intake manifold it could be a broken vacuum line purge valve line okay like this one right here this is the purge valve line on this engine it could be uh, broken PCV breather hose like this one here guys on the back side uh, messed up PCV valve and bad PCV system guys this is the positive crown case ventilation system which is right here underneath and we have a video on the channel that explains actually guys okay it explains how to uh, how to uh, service all that so uh, check it out it will be on the channel guys so Another thing guys to look for, vacuum leaks, okay, intake manifold gasket, this is the intake manifold where it bolts to the cylinder here, there is a gasket so it seals really good and if you have a small leak there that could be le uh, lead to a vacuum leak as well but most of the times guys it could be something as simple as a loose hose clamp, okay it could be a dirty mass airflow sensor guys because if the mass airflow sensor is dirty or not working correctly what will happen actually it will not read the correct amount of air going in the engine let's say it's reading five grams of air going in the engine every second but it's actually guys seven because it was dirty or not functioning correctly the engine will get more air than it knows of so uh, those are guys the common things to check but little bitty vacuum lines will be the first thing to check make sure they're not cracked move them around uh, usually you have a, an o-ring okay on every vacuum line on those bmws and sometimes those o-rings may leak as well so remove the vacuum line inspect the o-ring and check for that guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure something like that out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time